gentlemen, it's my great honor to introduce to you champion for the working class, international president of the Teamsters, James Hoffman. Solidarity, we will support the 1.4 million members of the Teamsters Union are with you all the way. All the way. This is about labor. This is about justice. This is about division. Today they take on the public employees. Tomorrow the private sector. We're going to let that happen. No. We have a saying in the labor movement, an injury to one is an injury to all, and we all know that. We know what this is about, but when you look out at the crowd, the people that are here, let's hear it for the teacher. Teacher, stand up. Let's hear it for the nurses. Let's hear it for the firefighters. Let's hear it for the policemen. Let's hear for the Teamster toll takers on the Ohio Turnpike. Yeah! That's what this is about. They want to divide us, and they want to take us back to another time. Who caused the budget crisis? Wall Street! Say that again. Wall Street! 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 You know, we talk about equality of sacrifices. They want to balance the budget on the back of our workers. Are we going to let that happen? Where are the billionaires? What are they paying? Nothing. What are the corporations paying? Nothing. What's Goldman Sachs paying? Nothing. What's the IG paying? Nothing. What's Lehman Brothers? They're gone. They're not paying anything. What we got to do is to fire up, and most importantly, we want the media to see what's going on. We want all of Americans to see what's going on, because this is a battle about the middle class. If we don't have a middle class in this country, we've got nothing. We are the middle class. Are we the middle class? Stand up and be the middle class. We are the middle class. And Wall Street and the billionaires hate us because we have, we are progressive. We want our part of the pie. We want to be strong and we want to say what we believe in. Today is about workers and about public employees. We've got to make sure we fight this fight, make sure we make we sure we win, and I know we will. Most importantly, we've got the team crew standing up, and most importantly, our chant is no justice, no, no peace. peace. No justice, no 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 peace. Thank you very much. Next, I want to introduce Fred Crow. He's a 27-year Teamster member of Teamsters Local 436 right here in Ohio. Come on up, Fred. Thank you. Usually when I come to Columbus, I'm going to the varsity club to have a few refreshments, and I go to see Ohio State with somebody's ass. But the best thing about being here today is seeing all these people, seeing all these unions together, seeing the non-union workers, seeing clergy, church people, and these kids here from Ohio State, all together to fight for our right. I would like to know how the hell you fix an economy by attacking our rights in the workplace. We're taxpayers and consumers. What do you think? Let me tell you, there's a lot of no votes out there with the Republicans. But that could change day to day. You don't know what amendment will make them vote yes. We have to keep the pressure on. Every day, keep emailing, keep phone calling. Still, let them know they're fired. They say budget. They 
see budget bullshit. They see budget. They see budget. Thank you, Paul.